to our channel. Before starting the video, like, share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all the first notifications. It's going to be a very long video I guess. So let me quickly introduce myself again. I'm Akanksha Prakash Tarpe. I'm from Mumbai which is in Maharashtra, India. My mother tongue is Marathi. My birthday is on 2nd October and my age is 25. Now let's start with your questions and the first question is from Navya Sinha. Hey Akansha Di, love your videos. I want to know that what is your education qualification and when did you decide to become a professional chef? Love you. Thank you so much. So I've completed graduation in biomedical engineering and me being the only child, I was always very pampered. Also, I'm very messy, okay? I mean, I'm so messy that I'm standing up and down. So, my parents never allowed me in the kitchen till the first year of engineering. So, I never had any interest. In my second year, I started watching a lot of MasterChef and I was so mesmerized with their skills. And at that time, only me and my friend baked a cake for the first time. And it turned out so good that I started baking a lot. And that was kind of like the start of my passion in cooking. By the third year, I decided to completely change my field from engineering. But of course, mom and dad were like not stopping me from doing anything. But they were like, ki ek saal bacha hai, complete kar le and then pursue whatever you want to do. So immediately after graduation, I started hotel management. I did like a diploma course of two years from which one year was uh, college and one year was internship, which I did in Hotel Mirador. Where comes the second question of how I started the YouTube channel from Shriya Gharg. During my training, since the other trainees were a lot younger to me, I became more good friends with the chefs there who were my age. And one of them was Atisha who is an amazing chef. She always wanted to start her channel and she asked me if I'm interested. But as you all know, I'm very very camera shy. I don't know how I face kar rahi hu, but you know I have to. So uh, that is how I said no at first. But my exams were postponed after the training and I had nothing to do at that time except for studies. So my Choti Masi who you saw in the face reveal video, she convinced me to start the channel or just make videos. Not for views, not for subscribers but just so that I can learn new skills and you know learn something new in life. She always tells me to explore as much as I can and luckily my cousin Adwet was also free at that time who is a cinematographer. So within two days we started shooting and I called Atisha as well. So initially this channel was started by me, Akansha, Adwet and Atisha but unfortunately Atisha couldn't continue because of her personal problems. The next question is from Kushisha and she has asked many questions. So I'm going to answer the seventh that is how did you come up with the name Hunger Plans? So we had many names in mind and we have finalized about two names. The first one was Double A Delicious. It is kind of a word pun. So if you say fast, it is Double A Delicious. But it is a complicated name. So har bar explain karne jati to, you know, what difficult ho jata tha. So the other name was Hunger Plans. Start me, I wasn't that happy with the name because I always like to have a meaning behind something. So I did a bit of a research and then found out that Hunger Plans is actually a movement done by Nazis, that is Hitler, during the World War II. What he used to do is he seized the food from the Jews and made them very weak. So what I thought was we can give it our meaning to the name Hunger Plans and it is very simple. Just as the name suggests, if you are hungry, watch our videos, plan what you want to make and just enjoy. The next question is from Bipali Dev asking what is your job or you just do YouTube. So I have worked in 2-3 to three hotels then in the start of 2020 I started working in a studio. So basically I was working with celebrity chefs in their back kitchen. So the serials you see on food food or living foods I used to shoot in the back kitchen of that. Then COVID happened and everything went under lockdown. So after that, I completely focused on YouTube and here we are. Agar COVID nahi hota, to main ab tak studio mein hoti, which I used to enjoy a lot. The next question is from Srinivasan Shanmuga Kumar. Your top three favorite YouTube channels. So I wouldn't say I have top three favorite because I love watching a lot of channels. 
and nowadays I'm more into vlog. I really enjoy watching Gopali, Mridul Sharma, Remora vlogs, Dam Fam, and many more. But if you ask me which YouTuber inspires me, then there is this uh, YouTuber. I don't know if you know him. His name is Face Ram. That is Brian. The first video I saw of him was he was giving away. I think he was giving some food and money to the street people, like who stay on the streets. And that inspired me so much because most of his videos, I've always seen him giving something or the else. So I guess we all should learn from this that it's not important to only give away money or you know food. You can just give a simple compliment and make their day. I think this only means spread positivity as much as you can. The next question is from Musical Sticks. Who helps you in your videos to shoot? So I don't have a proper team yet, but the people who help me are obviously my cousin and my mom dad. The next question is from G I Varma asking, how did you get the idea for starting series of five minute crafts? So the first video of hack testing I saw was from Brendan Taylor, who is not an Indian YouTuber. But after that, I started seeing a lot of Indian YouTubers try it, and it went viral. The first I think I saw was Shruti Talekar. Sukriti Grover and Feza Patekari. So I thought let's give it a try. It will be fun. So the first video I uploaded was on 29th of Jan if I'm not wrong. And the video didn't go that well at start. Because I had no idea in that field. I was trying something new. But in one week the video actually went viral. And I think that's my highest viewed wala video. The next question is from Shubham Solanki asking what is your favorite hack and which video do you like the most? So I use these hacks in day to day life and they actually work. My recent favorite is the egg omelet I tried in the waffles. I'm telling you, you should definitely try it. It is amazing. And about the video, of course, it's the first video which is the pesto pasta. The first hack video and the first video I edited which was giant vada pav. So these three are my most favorite videos. The next question is from Geeta Mahavar asking at starting of your channel, did your parents allow you to experiment with foods? Usually parents don't allow children and they think you're going to waste stuff. Uh, my dad never tells me anything, but yes, my mom yells at me at times. But now she's like, tu karte snama, tu saga saaf karaisa. The next question is from Daisy Sharma asking how to inspire yourself to make new videos. So it's my experience that if you enjoy something or love to do it, you don't have to force yourself. But of course you need some inspiration which comes from your passion within. And there will be days when you're low and you don't feel like doing it. Just take a day off, relax, do what you love and restart what you're doing. The next question is from Kainat Hassan. I've seen that there is a little burn type mark on your left hand. How did it happen and the reason behind that mark? So I don't know if you can see it clearly now, but this is the mark. Can you see it? Yeah, so this is the mark and I don't even remember how it happened. But all I know is I was a little kid and I was burning a cracker and that's how it got burnt. The next question is from Gorvi Sharma asking what do you cook the most, desert, starters or main course? Also, which is your favorite cuisine? So, I like to cook starters because they are easy, quick and really delicious. And for the cuisine, I like Indian. But now I am leaning towards Japanese and Korean because I like to explore different cuisines. The next question is from Famida Chaudhary Asha. How old are you? I am 25. Are you married? No, not yet. The next question is from Bhavyanjali M. Will you make vlogs or challenge videos in future or you are going to continue with food videos? So I've got similar questions like these if I'm going to open a new channel for vlogs. Honestly, I don't go out at all. I'm just at home working or doing something or the other. Uh, and to manage two channels is pretty difficult. So let's keep the second channel on hold for now. And for food challenges, of course, there are going to be many challenges, many food related videos, but not vlogs as for now. 
I also got a lot of questions asking if I was in any Marathi TV show. So yes, I was in uh, Colors Marathi Ask I Special. If you want to see, uh, the episode is on Voot and it's on YouTube as well. So if I get the link, I'll attach it in the description box. I really hope you like this video because it is the first time I'm interacting like this and it is something new for me, I guess, and as well as for you. So yeah, drop a like if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, today's shout out goes to everyone who asked me the questions. If you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and comment on this video telling me that you have. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos.